The Kalenkov report? Exactly. Then the military got a hold of the material, and your father was prohibited from doing any more research. When he and Manuel Perez took off again for the Tunguska region, Perez accidentally became a victim of an experiment that the military was conducting with the extraterrestrial object there. Your father realizes how dangerous the material is, but he continues to do research despite, or maybe because of it, until he comes across evidence of the Zopa, whose abandoned caves he discovers in China. There he discovers artifacts that consist of the same extraterrestrial material as the fragments from the Tunguska region. A strange connection, don't you think? And one of the artifacts is here now, delivered personally by Nina Kalenkov. The station belongs to a man named Massimo Gartuso. Have you ever heard his name before? Billionaire. Divorced three times. Devastatingly handsome. You can ask him for an autograph in a second. What? He's here. I saw him below in the station. Hopefully we aren't too late. He bought shares in all the telecommunication companies through middlemen and will soon control the entire mobile network. So what? Are you afraid that the prices per minute will go up? Be serious for a second, Nina. Don't you have any idea what they're planning here? Think about Perez's accident, the psychiatric clinic in Cuba, the French female scientist, and the Russians' animal experiments. Give me a hint. They are working on a technology that will manipulate thoughts. Oh, come on. First you come to me with... With these aliens. And now this? It sounds inconceivable, I know. But research into this technology is nothing new. As far as I know, no one has been successful yet. But with this extraterrestrial material... Do you think that Massimo Gartuso will go to so much trouble if the artifact was merely of value archaeologically? The sect believes that he is about to implement this technology. And you can imagine what will happen then. So, do you trust these people? More than I trust this Gartuso. And what are you planning to do? The sect will take care of detonating the transmitter, and we have to find a way to disrupt the experiment itself. Are you familiar with the layout in there? Is there maybe a control room or something like that? Sure. Follow me and try to be inconspicuous. Yes, sir. Oh, before I forget, I found your cell phone in the caves in China. I thought you'd probably need it. In case you want to call me after all this is finished. I know your number by heart. So, the elevator should be working again. But maybe we should wait until the sect members have detonated the antenna. And if not, we still have the element of surprise on our side. So you really want to go down there? Yes. Now let's go. Damn, what just happened? The elevator appears to still be working, as do some of the doors, but I can't open the other ones. Nina! Can you hear me? Just great. I have to get the doors open as soon as possible or we'll have a real problem. We've had more than enough of those already. Hopefully Nina will wait for me and won't do anything stupid. But if I know her, she probably will. Max doesn't seem to hear me through the door. Now what? Hopefully he'll get the door open again. But I can't really wait for him to do it. We have no time to lose. Maybe that elevator still works. Then I can look around a little downstairs. One of the surveillance cameras. Hopefully Max is constantly checking the monitors in the control room. Someone took the knob that opens and closes the vent. There's just a rod left now. I can't open or close the valve with my bare hands. A radiator. The radiator feels cold. The pipe is cold. There are two labels on it, danger, explosive, and do not bring in contact with water. 
For such dangerous stuff, that bat sure doesn't make a stable impression. The sign warns that contact with water could trigger chemical reactions. The pain is so brittle that it crumbles just looking at it. Hopefully the lid won't open. The paint stuck to the silicone. With a little imagination, you can see the sign again. In some places where the walls have cracked, the ice is visible behind the walls. We must therefore be below sea level. My former teacher, Mr. Pouets, would say no one can... F I threaded the rod. Phew, no chance. Phew, that's it then. The vent is open. The radiator is gurgling and is cold. I guess there isn't enough water in the pipes. Water? Heat? There's no water in the heating unit? I'll see if I can find a control unit for the water feed. I hope that was the right switch. There seems to be enough water in it now, but the radiator is still not heating up. If my plan works and Max understands my clues, the heater will get warm, and so will the pipes with the icicle between them. When it melts and slides out of the pipes, it will hopefully push the vat from the shelf onto the floor. And as soon as the vat cover opens and the highly explosive chemical comes into contact with the ice on the floor, it will go kaboom! A great fuse! If I could somehow get out of here, I should close the valve again afterwards, otherwise this whole joint will blow with me and Max inside! There's no flame lit in the heating unit? Well, then let's look for the right button that fires it up. So, that should have been it. Ah, damn it! Nina, look out! <laughs> 